Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a Divine Masculine Twin Flame read for you today. And before I get into the read, just a couple things that came up yesterday for the Divine Feminine. Um, and this is going to be a good one, you guys. There's definitely a change of energies this month. Um, we actually, you see, have the lovers in the foundation there, and that's actually upright energy. And I'll get into that in a minute in the read. But from yesterday, I actually um, spent the day with my son because he I had to take him to the airport this morning to go home. And we went to New Hope, which is a message in itself yesterday. And it was, a, it was a lovely day. You know, there's a lot of beautiful pictures I got of the ducks on the river and all that kind of thing. So it was very beautiful energy. Um, in the messages from yesterday, I got the Euro India Gateway that came up again, which for me often represents the 4D bridge. But definitely um, was coming up, uh, something came up between um, the UK and France in my read yesterday. So for me, I was also getting the reference to that between, uh, between Britain and France. So that came up as well as the temperature of uh, the number 98 has come up several times uh, recently. And it's come up in the past before as 100 minus 2. And it wasn't until today that I realized that it has to do with the temperature of the human body. That there's something about the temperature of the human body that actually is what helps bring union together. So I actually think that's why the summer months are more involved with unions. Um, something to do with the temperature um, helping um, um, alchemize or harmonize the energies between the masculine and the feminine. Um, but I'll get into that more in the masculine read because a lot came up about that and also the number seven today. Um, let's see if there was anything from else from yesterday. Yesterday, um, the number 144 has been coming up a lot lately. It came up yesterday again with the feminine with, along with 88. And 14 of the angels is coming up all the time now as well as 46. But I've been seeing lots of repeats of the same numbers and cards within the reads. 46 comes up all the time and 68. Um, they're just very consistent now. Uh, yeah, was there any other numbers? And then 46 I wanted to bring up too is the reflection of 64, which is the, 46 is the kids in the garden, the six of cups, and the 64 is the 10 of swords. It's ending the pain, that pain cycle. So they reflect each other, as well as the 89 and the 98. And the 79 and the 97 came up today. Um, just that the gate's been open. I keep getting the death card in the Syrian Starseed deck, and that is the portal. So the masculine has it again as the final card of the read today, that death card, which is called Transition in the Syrian Starseed deck. And 8, 9, 10, or 9, 10, begin again, perpetually is coming up. All right, so let me get into today. Uh, today is... Um, and we're very much leading up to the, ecl the eclipse on July 2nd here. Today is June 26, 2019. The 26th is an 8. It is also the Page of Wands. And 26 in the Divine Triangle numerology book is also considered Karma. The Page of Wands, number 26. So the day adds up to 44.8. So both 8s today, which is all about inner and outer strength and the dance of the masculine and feminine within in order to come into zero point to be centered and integrated. Um, but also the eight has to do with uh, the higher manifestations, whereas the four are the manifestations of survival and learning how to survive in the 3D world. Eight has to do with manifesting your dreams in the 3D world which is more along the lines of the 5D, naturally. So 44.8 and 26.8 are the numbers of the day, which are the Four of Cups, which is about mastering, grounding, and integrating, and the Page of Wands, which is karma. So again, mastering, grounding, and integrating, inspiration, but also any karma residual or karma that you're dealing with around you that may not be yours, but just dealing with it in your everyday and transmuting other people's energies in that respect. So number 12, came up big time today as well as 717 as well as a lot of other sevens it is Wednesday I'm gonna get in right into the masculine read now 
It was done at 8, 46, 47, and 48. I was guided to write down this morning. 46, 47, and 48 are the children in the garden, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. The Seven of Cups is the options. It's seven options of love, but I also see it as synchronicities and heaven in their eyes for the twins and the ascension. And 48 is the Eight of Cups of walking away or going within. It's very much about finding the, that missing piece of yourself. The major arcana for the read today from the Syrian Starseed deck were alchemy, which is like the temperance card, lovers, ascension, which is like the world, transition, which is like the death card, and then before and after the read were the karma card, which is judgment, and chariot, which is the same um, respectively. Okay, there were four pentacles, two wands, one sword. There were no cups in the read today in the main deck, of course. We have cups everywhere in the clarification cards, but not the main message today. We have alchemy, which is Sagittarius, and karma, Aquarius, lovers, um, so Gemini, Pisces, and Scorpio, as well as Cancer. So we have all the, um, we have all of the water signs here, as well as Gemini, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. So those would be the main energies since they are the major arcana and they may be the major players here as well. Uh, but I'll get into more of that. I have all the details about all the court cards. Uh, the, uh, there were no court cards in the main read. However, before and after the read were the Page of Swords before the read and the Queen of Swords after the read. And I wanna point out with the Queen of Swords today since she is one of the main characters that in the beginning underlying energy, she comes up reversed which may not be the same Queen of Swords as the last card in the end. Um, I'm definitely getting much more positive energy on the Queen of Swords at the end. And the one in the beginning may be someone else, but it also may be someone's perception, like the karmics or people around the Divine Masculine's world, their perception of the Divine Feminine could be negative. So I just want to preface the read by saying that. The numbers and the message here were all about nature. Uh, the numbers were 97, 71 and 168 as well as 7 71 I said already 771 15 77 22 79 the sequence 1 2 3 4 5 so we're well into the beginning of the cycle we're really for the masculine here he's ended his cycle there's still a re little residual with a an insignificant 9 and the double sevens but everything else in the read is one, two, three, four, five, and the two is doubled, which means he's gotten past the one of the new cycle into the two, which is really good energy. Um, 57 comes up, which is the three of swords, but in the read it is reversed. 12 is the hangman, 27 the ace of wands, which is in the center of the read and upright energy. Four, two, one, and then the reflection of 97 and 79. For me, 79 has always been the pot of gold at the end of the 4D rainbow, or in other words, arriving in 5D. And 97 was coming up today as the lower end of the human body temperature, or in other words, the preserves, and the reflection of that being the treasure. So the treasure is infinite, but the preserves are limited. So those two numbers coming up as reflecting each other in that way, 97 and 79. So let's see if there's anything just before the read. Um, I had to get up very I had to get up at 606 this morning to take my son to the airport. So it was fun looking at the plates on the way there. We're definitely kind of interesting. I definitely saw lots of different uh, you know triple and quadruple numbers. Actually a plate with G G G. So G G G came up as well as another one that was B B and then G R O O T. So G root and double O's like the googly eyes came up in the read again today. So that was significant. And 4445, and then I also saw 6667, which is interesting because not only was it the triple digits, but it was showing the, pro the progression to the next number. And then all the times going into the masculine read this morning were the same. Like there was a 46 uh, to 47, 47 to 48, and then there was earlier um, the same, there's 27 to 28, 
43 to 44, so it was showing me all these progressions to the next number, as well as the time 717. Um, when I headed home from the airport today, and traffic went really well for me this morning, I was surprised, because we had to go through rush hour to get there. Um, and then I saw some numbers that were kind of cool on the way home. Um, but as the numbers I saw, which which related to me for my twin, the song came on the radio. Uh, is it Queen, We Are the Champions of the World? So that was really cool. It was, it was syncing with me a lot, but it put a smile on my face, actually. And that was, I was on 76, which is one of our highways going through the city. So 717 definitely coming up here. And then 811 also came up. Um, and then after I put the main cards down, and that was 8.27 to 28, um, at 8.36, and 36 being the 10 of wands, or feeling the burden, I was getting alone again, naturally. Okay, so that came up, and then at 8.43, fooey came up, or fool, could be foo, foo like fool for you. Um, also at 8.44, Entry Denied came up, and that was in regards to the masculine's family. Um, so getting right into the code line here, which has to do with nature, and it's funny that nature came up because Alone Again Naturally came up just before the, 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 uh, the read. Um, the message within the read, there was, uh, like I said, there was uh, two sevens in the read, so they were very significant right off the bat bat, but both of the sevens spelled out came up in the code line today. So a lot of different stuff came up with this code line, and actually I have to go through it with you. Um, please, what doesn't resonate with you, just let it go, but if something resonates with you, please comment, because it was a little bit PC here in the coding today, but I have to bring it up because it was all about the sevens, and it was very significant. So to see the power of two in one in the chakra system, the feminine within the masculine to the nth degree, um, three, the three of pentacles, the love work relationship and the alchemy of the foe, which can also can be the shadow. And then I was getting, you are sleepy. So I was definitely getting um, the googly eyes as possibly being um, hypnotized. So see the show of power in the Northeast. Um, then I was getting Greece again. And then I was getting the movie Greece with Sandy and Danny. And related to that, and with the code line here, was coming up the Amazon women and the centaur as the masculine. So, and there's some more messages that come up around that. And then the island Kos, which was my father's nickname, the KOS, which was dragon shape, also came up here in relations to Greece. Amazon women and the centaur and the Gargarians, which were the men to the Amazons. So they were considered separate from the centaurs. They weren't in the same place because the centaurs were saying, they were saying they were from the islands of Greece, like Crete and wherever else um, around the Greece. But the Amazon women and the Gargarians were, were considered from the Caucasus Mountains. And then I'm getting, of course, from Caucasus as White Mountains. And then the Northeast, um, Anatolia and uh, Karbamba, which is Turkey. So they were totally separate, the, the half man, half horse, and the Amazons, but they weren't far away because Greece is right across from Turkey. And I don't know what the, where the lines were drawn, you know, in the ancient times. So I was also getting seen, and I and E came up before as like iodine, the I and E's seen the INE 777 ace patience and blending and then I was getting foo with lots of O's dot 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 so infinity foos and then the G and then I, because I got G and that breakdown of G is C7 C7 was coming up so there's another seven so seven seven sevens were coming up and that of course is 21 which is completion but the C7 came up as important for other reasons, which will come up in a moment. The F yesterday was representing the 567, or the sweet spot in numerology, because I always speak to you about 
the uh, zero point where we need to be, you always want it to be in the middle, but erring slightly towards the light as opposed to the shadow. So the human body reflects that the same way as far as alkaline and acid. The body needs to stay alkaline as opposed to acid. Otherwise, you know, you, you know, cancer loves acid. So that's a big problem because once you get cancer, your body, it's always chasing itself, trying to catch up and getting rid of the acidity. So the same uh, principle is coming out here with the numbers that the five, six, seven is that sweet spot just above the middle, um, just a little above the middle. It's food for thought. 7 plus 2 and 711 came up yesterday, and again that's July 2nd, 7 2, and 711, um, a very popular place, right? That's uh, easy to get to, um, but also coming up as the 7 of harmonization and the Florida Keys, and the 1 and the 1 as the other two points of the Bermuda Triangle, as well as just the justice system and the 7 of the chariot, and which is all about war. Okay, so uh, why was Jul July 7th so important? Or the human temperature, 98.6. It aids in the high vibe FLIX, the flicks that came up yesterday. The Florida Key is not, the Florida Key is hotness. The hotness helps bring unions together when the temperature rises above 98. And if you listened yesterday, I was talking about the difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit, that the masculine energy was the 98.6, and the feminine energy was actually combined with the masculines to be at the Fahrenheit number 212, him basically being the 100, and she being the 112, you know, her with him, the hangman, hanging out, right? So. Also, 100 minus 2 has come up multiple times before, so it's not just about 98.6, but actually the range of the human temperature, 97 and 99, which is the norm. So 77 plus 33 came up for me, which is 110, which actually I saw that the other day with, uh, with a friend. It was 110, and then we saw 11 again, and then I saw 110 again later, so that's been coming up a lot, as well as then I was being progressed to 66 plus 33 is 99, 99 plus 1, and we were talking about that with the time earlier, right? 47 to 48, etc. cetera. Um, going to the next number, 99 plus 1 is at 100, and 100 being represented as the magician, embo magician embodiment of the two twins, the zero, zero, the source contained by the human body. So the zero plus, the 100 plus 100 plus 12 is like saying, the 99 plus one, it's saying, who's your plus one? Who's your plus 12? So then it's taking you into the monad. Who is in your monad? Seven times seven is 49. Seven times eight is 56. 56 was also coming up from another twin fl flame friend of mine and then coming up multiple times for me. The 49, you know, is the get your wish card, is that nine of cups, and the 56 is the two of swords, which in the Syrian star seed deck is very much about floating on a wing and a prayer and being in your knowing. So it led me on this trail about adding the numbers to 144. Four, and 49 plus 49, 98. 56 plus 56 is that 112 that came up, okay, for the, for the feminine. And then uh, if you add 112 plus 32 is 144, and I was just trying to get a handle on what numbers were coming up and why. Um, so all of the numbers that are divisible into 144, or of course the 12 by 12, but also all of the numbers except for five and seven. So two goes in, of course, 72, and then three goes in 48, four goes into it 36, and five does not go into it. Six goes into it 24 times, seven doesn't, eight goes into it 18 times, and then nine does go into it 16 times. So that was very interesting that the residual numbers were five and seven, or 57, the three of swords, right? The three-way situation. That they don't go into that 144. And so the numbers being pulled out here are 18, 24, 36, 48, so all the by 12s, or by sixes, some of them, um, Let's see, 48, 
and then the 16. Sixteen, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty-six, forty-eight, seventy-two. Now in the twelve as well. So those seem to be very significant here. And the, and they mean well. You know the twelve is the hangman, and the sixteen is the tower. The eighteen is the moon. You see, there's kind of a negative energy amongst most of these numbers. The twenty-four is the queen of wands, which I would say is Omega or the queen of wands, the end of karma. Thirty-six being the ten of the Ten of Wands, you know, the need to drop the burdens, the weight of the world upon your shoulders. And then 48 is that walking away and within. And then 72 being the uh, Four of Swords. Or I'm sorry, it's the Four of Pentacles. Right? One, two, yeah. It's the Four of Pentacles, which is holding on. Is there anything here? So just wanted to bring them up about the 144. And then I was getting also uh, to go into the C7. So C7 I knew was a guitar chord, um, but also the, the vertebrae was coming up, which is significant for me too, because my processes are extra long. And it was coming up for a specific reason, which I'll let you know in just a moment. The Corvette Stingray was coming up around C7, as well as light bulbs. So the bulbs are light. But also with the Stingray, you notice it's Sting and Ray, the ray of sting. Well, my son and I, when we were talking in the car yesterday, the sting came up and the police, okay? Because um, there was a song that came up, a couple songs about, you know, um, I see, I'm spying on you, basically, <laughs> which is that song, right? So that came up, so someone may definitely be spying on some of you or someone may be getting arrested because the police came up, um, but light bulbs are going off because that definitely came up and that site was from 1,000 bulbs which were 18 years in business. So here's the 1,000, which is building on the 100, and the 18 for the moon comes up again, or the false light. So Asia Minor also came up, and as far as the guitar chords for the C7, also came up A minor, as the Asia Minor was coming up A minor, and then A sharp major came up in a headline um, that the C7 would then be dominant of the dominant relating to music, but this just has to do with however you take it. So then the C, six, seven, and eight were coming up. Very interesting, because our times today for the read were 46, 47, 48. So in relation to the C7 of the spine, all three um, vertebrae came up together, the C, seven, six, seven, eight. The spinal cord injuries around C6 and seven and quadriplegia. The injury to the C6 nerve um, relates to wrist extension uh, with the nerve root that runs between six and seven and can directly affect control of muscles in forearms and wrists on one or both sides. Um, someone may be able to drive a modified car or hand controls. The C6 um, also can feel a false sense of carpal tunnel, numbness and tingling in fingers, hands, and arms, which was very interesting because I keep getting the limp wrist in the reeds and especially in the card where someone's wearing a cuff, which is the sacred sexuality cuff that the Amazons wear, okay? So I was getting that, and Spirit's connecting with me, that people who have this issue may be descendant from the Amazons specifically. Very interesting. And then the C7 was similar, along some similar lines, with burning shoulder blades or triceps. Dexterity of the hands and fingers may be compromised a lack of control of bowels and bladder, and may have taxed breathing as well. Okay, so around those, around those um, vertebrae. So it gets even more interesting, interesting along those lines, if I can speak correctly. Uh, when I turn the page, let's see, uh, the C8 nerve root is basically from C7 to T1. Um, no, there's no corresponding vertebrae there for C8. The nerve response for controlling muscles in the fingers and hands and similar symptoms to C6 and 7 and paralysis of legs, trunk, and hands, but maintaining shoulder and arm movement. So again, it's relating specifically to the hands and the wrists going limp. So this was definitely, um, I would also said if you have an injury of your C6, 7, or 8, if if 
receiving immediate treatment, these injuries have the best chance of recovery. So actually, well, you wouldn't think that because they're neck injuries. If they're responded to immediately and you get to the hospital right away, they actually have the best chance of full recovery. Or not necessarily full recovery, but recovery. So the C7 is also the largest neck vertebrae. Unlike others, um, it also has a large spinous process that protrudes posteriorly towards the skin at the back of the neck. So the C7, we're relating that. So if you have a very big, for some reason, C7, or you have issues relating to that, um, as far as you have tend to have a limp wrist, or you tend to have uh, numbness and tingling in your hands. And for me, I've always had that because of um, thoracic outlet syndrome, which it was always assumed to be. Um, that may actually be an Amazon lineage um, and having to do with sacred sex and the large processes. So if you have an extra large bone there, it may relate to you. Um, also getting the C7 as Christ and the seven was, is literally the hangman. Um, uh, also coming up here was for the masculines. Um, people with leg issues from being half horse and half men of the centaur could also have um, those uh, issues passed down over the generations from actually have been, been, being a centaur, and that might relate to the divine masculines. So they may have symptoms of leg issues because of that. And actually spider veins and varicose veins were coming up, and that might have to do with horse legs. Very interesting. So going on with the code line for the message today, I continued it on this page at 955, which is the Ace of Swords, the truth. Seen in the seventh, the feminine within the masculine, acing alki, my foo, with those crazy eyes. You know, the crazy eyes like you look like you're, um, you know, like when you haven't had enough sleep and you're like, uh, you're oblivious to everything. Well, those two circles with the little wavy lines in it, um, I was getting that energy. Um, naturally hypnotizing to the masculine within the feminine. But we're also talking here, the set seen in the seventh or the crown or the high heart, depending on which chakra system you're working with. So the high heart um, would relate, relate to the, the feminine, but we also have the crown here. Um, and then uh, foo was coming up I was, so I was getting crown, the crown, the high heart, and the C7 all related, okay? And then Fu was coming up as the Fu Boys, Four Seasons, Fourth of July, Foundation, Founding Farmers, Farming was coming up because food comes up here. Four points, um, four square, and fountains all came up for there, and Fu can mean drunk. So definitely alcoholic issues are coming up here in the code line. It means drunk in Scotland. Um, also, it can mean a squirrel-like creature, but a cute animal, something con that's considered cute. Also, foo-foo or foo-foo spelled all different ways, F-U-F-U, F-O-O, F-O-O, or F-O-U, F-O-U, they're spelled all that way, um, is a staple food in West Africa, such as uh, all the different countries it listed, but then the food is actually equal portions of cassava and green plantain flour, thoroughly mixed with water. So that's apparently very important. So there must be something um, that's very good for us about that. And it may, be that it may be actually that food that's naturally hypnotizing for us, helping us connect to 5D even more so. Also could be helpful maybe for alcohol, alcoholism. Um, but also hypnosis in general was coming up um, for these things, whether it's food issues or alcohol issues to, to go with the hypnosis sessions. I'm sorry if I keep knocking this. Um, but hypnosis, of course, is focused attention, heightened suggestibility, and also considered vivid fantasies. Uh, but food hypnosis definitely came up here that helps you get to the root of the issues, which is totally about shadow work. Um, low estrogen levels also came up, and uh, the, the symptoms associated with low estrogen are fatigue, depression, um, breast tenderness, moodiness, UTIs, headaches, hot flashes, um, irregular periods and painful sex due to lack of lubrication. Okay, so that might be something for you guys as well. The, why do I always forget what it's called? 
I take the red clover. Red clover is good for that too. I can't take estrogen because I like blow up like a balloon. Um, but the root, the um, red clover works great for that. So check with your doctor if needed, but um, that's just an over-the-counter um, uh, vegetable, you know, vitamin capsule if you're if you want to try that. Um, sevens again came up as the seventh out of nine sevens, and then the seventh out of seven sevens. To ace the balance of food naturally, see the power of seven, of seven, the crown. To ace food naturally, hypnotizing, or a food that naturally um, uh, hypnotizes you. So if you have addictions, in other words, if you have addictions to food or addictions to alcohol, um, opening the crown further with, um, like I said, with hip, with uh, hip hypnosis sessions, or again, the cassava green plantain mixture flour may actually help, they may actually both help you with food and alcohol, but also other addictions. So I was definitely getting something that hypnotizes you, so that combination of food that they use in Africa may very well be very good for the third eye and crown opening. The sun, so if anyone knows anything about that, please also comment below on that. Um, seen in the seventh, the feminine within the masculine, one angel foo or food is naturally hypnotizing to the other, naturally hungry or have an appetite for each other. Two spiritual warriors with googly eyes. Um, also coming up here was um, to see the VIN number, so vehicle identification number, or wine, V-I-N-E, but that can also relate literally to a vine. A, a, maybe there's a vine that needs to be identified that also helps with this. Um, V1V came up, the name Viv, and that's funny because I used to see a psychic many, many years ago named Vivian who passed away, um, and maybe she's coming through right now. Also is getting C9s and the power of nines. So again, the collective consciousness the hermit and the wise ones, okay? So of the seven to the nth degree, so as soon as I wrote seven two, we had seven two again, which is the solar eclipse. And then again, the feminine within the masculine, it's actually coming up, the googly eyes as the fool. That the fool is the one with the open heart and the googly eyes walking on air. Seen in seventh seven, one angel drunk naturally in a hypnotized state because they are now the fool. Also, Sunday was coming up as the seventh day. Seven, and then separately, 007 was coming up also, as well as the C7 to T1, the C7 and T7, as well as the days of July being very significant. So July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, less so. So the 2nd being most important. And then the 7th was pronounced, and less so the 9th, Less so the 17th, but even and more so again the 27th. So those not, those dates were coming up in July for me. So how they relate to your specific journey, I don't know specifically, but they were definitely coming up. 7172, 77. So really the, the strongest energy I, I got was from the 2nd, the 7th, and the 27th, but the other numbers could relate to you too. And also the numbers 22 and 77. Again, relating to the 27 and the 72, the 27 being the Ace of Wands, which is in the middle of the read today, and the 72 is the reflection of that, the eclipse that's coming up this week. Uh, also, Excalibur was coming up again today, and Magenta Pixie was talking about the Pillar of Light, so you might want to check that out. Um, it was a good talk. The 12 chakra system, the DNA, all of the 12s that come up here, the waves and the monad. And 6-6 was coming up there. So, um, yeah, and I woke up at 6.06. So 6-6 six, six is significant again, although that's past. It's coming up again. Maybe even the 6-1-6. Six, six. So, any other times here? Okay. So I turn the page. We'll get in, right into the read. Um, we start at 10.33. 33 being the Christ vibration. This is slipping. 
33 is the Christ vibration, also the seven of wands, standing up for yourself without being defensive. It's the 10 of the Wheel of Fortune, the Destiny card. And as we start here, we're in the Divine Feminine's heart. So that seven of pentacles that I have over here is, for me, that represents the E Tower or the Eve Tower, all right? So for Adam and Eve, that that is representative of the Divine Feminine's heart. The four of crystals, this is the seven of crystals, and the four of crystals in this deck for me is the masculine's heart. It's the bat cave. So the Divine Feminine's heart, open for business, backed by self-happiness, natural curiosity, and karma now behind her. Uh, the e, the um, feminine within, or the, the feminine within the masculine, but also the Eve within the seven. So you notice that seven is Eve with an S and an N at either end. With the nine of cups supporting role, one plus one connection equals N. So literally, if you take one plus one and you put a diagonal line, you're connecting them. So one plus one connection equals the N, the Jesus, which that's code Jesus for me anyway, the human connectedness, the N-I-N, which then is two Ns with the chakra system in the middle because the lowercase i is the chakra system with the third eye at top. Two connected within self sharing one chakra system, the twins, not getting along at work or a third party through work or taken down by the enemy at work, but the queen of pentacles rises above that petty stuff. The queen of wands is looking away, pretending she's not involved. The queen of pentacles is healing by not running away, but by working through emotions, by speaking truth in messages. The divine masculine is moving to peace through destiny, divine timing with an offer to help to move cargo, perhaps. Um, Sphinx is coming up as running the ship, half human, half lion. So it could be someone who's Leo or very egotistical. Um, schooling the goose with wings, or so this Sphinx, could be schooling the goose with wings or teaching the goose who lay the golden egg a thing or two or you know may want to teach them a lesson or students misbehaving when should be reading books are opening them randomly to see if it works or pushing a barge out to sea to get it out of the way so the masculine can see the knight of pentacles waiting with gold coin intervention or uh, I don't know why I said interventional just now, but I meant to say international shipping waters. So there may need to be an intervention here. Um, somebody may be, there may be some illegal activities around that as far as shipping and receiving, um, but I wasn't specifically getting that. Um, I was getting, he, right when I talked about the barge coming in or being pushed out, I was literally seeing in the cards the barge being pushed away from the shore. I was literally hearing work going on in my backyard that literally sounded like a barge. I'd swear it was a barge. I'm like, what the heck? It was really cool actually hearing that. And that was at 1049. So literally behind my house, um, tool, uh, tooting or blasting about three to four times. And then the last one was getting longer lasting. And then again, so it went on after that. But that it was at 1049 to 50, which is the nine of cups and the 10 of cups, which is about coming into your happiness. Um, or they set sail for a three hour tour, the Sphinx and two angels, one better behave, shipping out for assistance to get help or searching for gold at sea, which can just be emotions, to an island perhaps. Guys doing the work while the Queen of Wands is barking orders with a black cat or kids being threatened, if you don't do your work, you can't go on vacation. And or the Knight of Pentacles helping them a dad or a tutor while the Queen of Wands may choose to stay home and work on records or a dark past. So that could just be shadow work and stuff. So Pirates of Caribbean comes up here, Pocahontas and the beautiful evil queens. When Amazon women were in charge of the seas, the seasons, emotions, and dictating, and the men had to do what they said. Dark X, black cat, naturally earthy and bossy, dark magic with herbs, witchcraft comes up. Choosing the farm country, the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, choosing which properties they want. The hills are alive. Okay, so that came up again with the sound of music. The Queen of Swords reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed with an offer to help from the Knight of Pentacles for dreams to come true with a need to know. I need to know if you really want me. 
better be better say so I need to know okay so that's coming up the devil present waving hello um, meditation and purity by the ocean under the stars while devil or Capricorn waves goodbye Aquarius Capricorn split Aquarius wants the land and Capricorn wants the air to breathe or vice versa earth land air uh, beach and then I was getting air B and B saying goodbye to a timeshare as well so this is all about someone uh, it's either if they're not in a split and splitting up properties which I was definitely getting mostly it's also where someone who uh, who has a karmic who is sneaky and on the negative side could be letting them go the masculine go alone with the kids so she can stay home and plot her revenge so the masculines may be want may want to be aware of that it's not for everyone not everyone are bad people but there are some who are going to do some negative things especially when they've been hurt in a difficult situation so as we turn the page it's 1107 um, and 11 of course is justice and 7 being the chariot which can be war so here we go with divorce wars so Capricorn and Virgo and Queen of Wands Aquarius may have a lady friend divine feminine so this could be one situation where a divine masculine's karmic um, the third party was actually her twin which was or it doesn't have to be a twin it could be um, a girlfriend or soulmate but she and she may not have but she may have been cheating or she may not have and they're split up and now she's got a new girlfriend because she's actually gay um, so that's one scenario um, it also could just be a friend but they're kind of on the outs right here uh, the Queen of Wands could have a Capricorn or Libra too uh, with a Virgo friend or lover supporting her or the Queen of Wands had a fallout with a Queen of Pentacles at work and kicked her out or the Queen of Pentacles left and happy to do so um, and good riddance was coming up but it looks more there like the Queen of Wands was the one saying good riddance but does you know because she's just being proud and the Queen of Pentacles just feels kind of sad about it, but she's good. She's not going to let it get to her. The Queen of Wands reversed may be being a bitch. And the Queen of Pentacles is fine but sad about the situation, but no worries. She's not going to let it get to her, like I said. Healing, uncomfortable feelings between them, the Queen of Pentacles, or the Queen of Wands reversed shows up at a Divine Feminine's house waging war. With third party through work or place of co-creation, the Queen of Pentacles rises above to process harsh feelings. Knowing she needed to speak her piece, the Queen of Wands reversed, if lovers can get their wish, the least she can do is allow Karmic to say a few words and be understanding of her position. That is, if she's doing it in an adult way, not in a any, anything that would be abusive to the feminine. So the energy that comes up here is make the effort for the masculine and beneath that is new love. I'm putting it out there is the hermit missing their flame, the word, news, or message, or child, that talks are being had, discussions of closing the gate to the past, following ironclad true north, people listening in on conversations about sweets and treats and tweets and or tweeting them, all the people, the empress in red boots affected, everyone realizing what she did to them personally, spreading rumors, tweets, poison dessert, snuffed out a flame, flirted and cheated with other men, maybe a cowboy's wife or mother, putting her wrangler on display, the lovebirds whose arms she had tied so he couldn't get away, her royal highness, red, red, and more red, royal silks and fleur de lis, emblems on everything, only the best for me. Let them eat cake, she said, with her seashells, she sells, she shells by the seashore, and dead bugs, or one big dead bug who may have been bugging her. Hearing aid, walking stick, the snake holding his arms back in her trap. Gangrene in the background while painting a pretty picture. Toxic woman who played everyone around her. Hidden devices, scissors, magnet, and gold coin on a high stone pillar by the gate near the bird feeder. Feng Shui the house and spreading the word. She has her own place now, welcome. Come in, my pretty. Or Leo hiding 
and putting Taurus out as the front man or woman, leaving Virgo confused. And here the, uh, the card came up, patience in the underlying energy from the numerology deck, which is number two or the high priestess. And beneath that was 85 or follow your dreams. So before I go on, I'm gonna take you around the read so you can get a, a better handle on what's going on here. If I unplug. Okay, so you have the underlying energy is that seven of crystals in this deck. If I say seven of pentacles, it's just because people understand that better. So we have the underlying energy there. Then in the recent past, we have the three of crystals or three of pentacles there. Then as we go to the foundation, we see the lovers. Okay, and the hermit's under there too. Okay, and that's upright energy there. As we go to the center, is the Ace of Wands, or the Ace of Flames in this deck. The challenge being the Alchemy card, or the Temperance. Going up to what's in the head, or crowning the situation, is the Two of Pentacles, but in this deck, very much Surrender. So here's some of the other clarifications and the underlying energies, okay? And then we go over here to, in the near future, is the World card, a little bit buried there, okay? So that's the World or it's actually called, this. Um, it's not, a, yeah, it is Ascension in the world. Okay, so then we have here, as the masculine sees himself, the Seven of Flames, or the Seven of Wands, rising above. Okay, so those are the Romance Angel cards. And then we have what's around him, or how he is seen, and you see that Vicious Empress there. It's not good energy today in the read, not the underlying energy anyway. So the Five of of crystals there is below all those cards and it's in reverse energy though in recovery mode which is good then we have the what the masculine needs uh, to clear as far as blocks is the four of orbs or the four of swords and then we have the end of the read which is the transition card or the death card with the chariot and the two of orbs after it as well as the queen of swords okay and here's the numerology cards so the the knight of cups there at the top is basically the end of the, the main read. And then I pull the rest of the cards to see what the um, outlying energies are after that, okay? And we, we end the read with the Ace of Cups, which is really beautiful with the Emperor up there, okay? So now I'm gonna put it back down for you guys so we can see more of the read. Pull that up a little bit so you can see the other cards. So 11.35 now, we turn the page, and by the way, the Emperor is upright and the Empress reversed in this read. The Queen of Wands reversed, and I have to tell you this here, that the only Queen that was upright in the read is the Queen of Pentacles. The others were reversed and very negative coming here. However, like I said, the Queen of Swords at the beginning read, who's being shown reversed at the end of the read, may actually be very upright. The Queen of Wands reversed may be lying and spying uh, and may be spewing venom could be along with one of mommy's minions as well. Or mother and child are angry and spreading lies, or this is one person who's just out of control. The Empress reversed, the Queen of Wands reversed, the Page of Swords reversed, maybe all one person, or they could be mother, daughter, or three generations of wicked. Clearly getting away with it, the Queen of Swords reversed, seen as sharpening her blade, losing money at work, or a business may be failing, or the Queen of Swords is plotting a takedown, of a business or someone not working because they can't get along with others. They don't play nice. Someone nasty may, be, uh, may have a potty mouth at work, uh, money wasted everywhere, filing chapter seven or 11, selling an oven or a kiln, the heat is on, a lathe, a press, a vice grip, all must go, a yard sale or repo, and I'm losing my voice a bit here, or teaching someone a lesson, I'll show them um, and there's definitely a revenge wound coming up here. Appearing again, disappearing act. Someone may be deciding on a burial, so whether to get burned or to be buried. Burial or ashes. Uh, may have a wound about being buried or burned at the stake. Student of hard knocks, with no self-control. Divine masculine may be trying to grab what he can and get his hands on before it all disappears when he finally finds out, all right? 
So a karmic may have let him go on vacation alone so she could plot her revenge or sell all his things while he's away or change a will so she'll never have to work another day in her life or someone just lied and or stole at work or a business to get back at the divine masculine. All his hard work right down the toilet. Tights worn every day, all burned or thrown away. Spider and varicose veins. Wounds of always feeling under pressure. Pressure wound. Compound fracture. All said and done. Or clearly, it's raining men and she's been cheating the whole time. Money or a sex addiction. And so this comes up. The Empress reversed, the Queen of Wands reversed, and possibly a daughter, Queen of Swords reversed. But it doesn't have to be a daughter. It could be three grown women. Or it could be like, you know, two much older women. It could be a mother and her sister with the karmic. Or like I said, it could be three generations of women. Um, scamming people the whole time while the divine masculine, hermit, or Virgo was unaware, but unwilling, but may have been an unwilling participant. Uh, one candle to their scissors, magnets, and coins, and family crest. Three women to one man. Where have all the flowers gone? and flowers for Algernon. So the mask is coming up as the innocent here. Four corners of stability and the weakest link in their eyes, the other three women who are all reversed, could be a coven as well, casting spells with patience, or literally patience of the masculine and the divine feminine, they may also be doing that too, and all who follow her or visit her. So they may be casting spells on the divine feminine and anyone who's associated with her working to take her down and the divine masculine unaware and missing his flame. And literally I have here the queen of swords reversed um, and then the devil waving with the queen of wands reversed, the emperor reversed flanking. So it's literally three women reversed with the devil. All right, as I turn the page, it's 12.05. And that's 12 of the hangman, the wisdom, and the five of the Hierophant, which could be the devil. That could be some of that energy because that came up within the read, which I'll get to in a minute. But it's also just change and expansion and conflict and fighting. It could be sports as well. But the Divine Masculine with a new love needing to make an effort now. Um, some of the energies that were coming up here were Aquarius upright, Libra upright, Capricorn upright, Leo reversed, Taurus reversed, and Virgo upright involved here. Well, there was a lot of positive energy in the read, but the ones that were reversed were really negative reverse. So it looks like the Queen of Wands is the ringleader, um, setting, or actually she's the ringleader getting the Knight of Pentacles, which could be the masculine, to help. It's like the helper bee, right? It could be a child as well though. The Queen of Wands reversed and Empress reversed could be sisters mother and aunt or former formal ri former rivals now joined forces with the queen of swords reversed and possibly another kid they've been casting spells to get the divine masculine to dote on them or just plain manipulation or lying and theft or divine masculine and three women the divine masculine could be the devil or he could just be a capricorn and there's three women that he was seeing all pissed um, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, and then he doesn't have to be seeing those three women. They could all be in his family as well, or people he works with. But there's definitely, um, if there is a masculine, it doesn't have to be the, the divine masculine who's with these three women reversed, and they're definitely coming up together, these three women. There's a, a Queen of Swords next to a King of Sor Pentacles reversed. Both of them reversed, Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles reversed together in the underlying energy underneath that devil. And there's Aquarius energy there. So Capricorn and Aquarius around there. Um, but the Capricorn is upright, even though the, de the devil's there, that energy, the Capricorn's considered upright energy. However, the Taurus is coming up very reversed. So that King of Pentacles could be Capricorn, but it also could be Taurus, the King of Pentacles reversed. And the Queen of Swords could be Aquarius, reversed could be Aquarius for sure. Although Aquarius energy was also upright there. Um, and like I said, you know, not all of these people are doing spell work. So for the ones that are, you can, you'll know that that's true. Or it could just be people lying and cheating and being manipulating, okay? So like I said, they've been casting spells to get the Divine Masculine to dote on them. And they may be just the three women in the Masculine, or they could be um, three women with this 
King of Pentacles reversed, or just plain manipulation or lying or theft, or the Divine Masculine with three women who are pissed. It could be any three women. Um, the King of Pentacles is reversed with the Queen of Swords reversed, or that could be a father, King of Pentacles reversed, who is basically the devil incarnate, who clearly achieved their dreams through devil's work or by, you know, stepping on everyone around them. And that could be um, the Empress as well. The Empress could come up as a King of Pentacles reversed. So recently, for the masculine, and here comes up Leo upright and Pisces reversed, but mind you, Leo came up reversed in the underlying energy and comes up reversed again. Recently, the workplace is exposed as upside down, retiring to go They could be retiring from work with the devil or Capricorn, or a business went under or left or lost a job to reap rewards for a bit and then work for someone else if, if, they, if they'll have them was coming up. Or everyone is at war at work while the queen of pentacles is sitting pretty, healing from negative attachments and finding happiness on her own. Doing the dance as one falls, the other rises, if not at zero point on both sides. Twins polarize. Unless in harmony, on the same page, wanting the same thing, working it out, they stay in polarized nightmare. As long as the Divine Feminine stays depressed, the Divine Masculine has no reason to come down from his high. When she goes up, then he goes down. She must be the game changer and stay in moderation. If she gets hung up on success and riches, the scales just tip, leaving him abandoned and her an ego. If he is the victim, then you are the victimizer. We always reflect. Be the bigger person and love no matter what. Not time to get back at them. We're not, uh, we're not in control. It was the process we had to go through to harmonize the alchemy or the alchemization of it. So the foundation here came up the lovers, which is upright, happy, divine masculine on his own, possibly just paying out or he's just finding his happiness with himself um, paying out he's decided to just let go and stop worrying about the money um, while the hermit sheds light on what the Queen of Wands reversed is up to not expressing feelings or going back and forth about what is owed the masculine is just settling out for happiness uh, the energies around this came up Libra upright Virgo upright Gemini upright Scorpio upright Aries was reversed, Cancer upright, Sagittarius upright, and Leo reversed here. So centrally for the masculine is the Ace of Wands upright, new passion for coming clean with the truth. The Knight of Wands is riding back to end things and transform and walking past the dead and the religious people in his way. King of Pentacles reversed and Queen of Swords reversed could be among them. Lovers, Divine Feminine that the Queen of Wands fell for He's running back to get her now. The challenge being alchemy, out of control Leo with King of Cups, the patient angel dropping their burdens and moving strong and fast. And that was at 1238, which is the, the hangman, the wisdom, and the Queen of Cups. All right, so we turn the page, it's still 1138. And just so you know, the aces, all aces were up, except for the ace of pentacles, which isn't negative because that was the end after the read. And the ace of pentacles is just pending that new life. And all the other three aces were upright, which is major. There's a surprise payoff or a visit to right the wrongs and help queen of pentacles drop her burdens about energy vampires watching the dance. Leo reversed or weak and the king of cups were together here watching uh, the King of Cups as the masculine, and it doesn't have to do masculine, but it was definitely coming up in the story here, that the King of Cups as the masculine was coming up here. And that the King of Cups could just be that weak Leo, okay? But it also could be representative of the masculine and him being a good family man. And then the Leo reversed his karmic partner who may have been um, enticing him, okay? So, because we're talking about the energy here and the sexual energy and the um, energy vampires. So, the burdens about the energy vampires and watching the dance and the masculine watching the feminine 
Leo reversed may have been weak and the King of Cups watching the feminine possibly, or it could just be um, watching porn as well, to flirt or to get off with the Leo reversed. That could be someone else, the karmic partner, or it could just be his own ego. The King of Cups feeling weak due to Leo, but an upstanding man, the King of Cups, or the King of Cups has to watch porn to get off with the Leo or his own ego, or even that didn't work. Or he felt aroused when the Divine Feminine feels him, making him weak to karmic attacks. Karmic sticking her butt out when he's feeling aroused by the Divine Feminine. Or wanting to tell the Divine Feminine that he hasn't been with the karmic recently, rejecting her when seeing the Divine Feminine or synchronicities that cause a fight or arousal. Now crowning is a surrender surprise, a breakup with the Empress or Taurus reversed in a fight in court or with Libra, King of Cups um, found happiness on his own without the bitch was coming up or the Queen of Swords reversed, spending his money or running his business. Rising above the justice system inspired on his own without attention to dump all attachments that don't serve and release self from prison or literally when he gets out of prison if the masculine's in prison um, of a third energy of the third energy abuse struggling to find the words to express about sleeping with the enemy while watching his twin watching karmic um, watching karmic with others or watching porn together so it could or you could have been watching the divine feminine with other people as well or like I said, them just watching porn together because he's having trouble getting aroused in his relationship because he's not with his twin. Looking back at bad memories or childhood memories of justice or injustice or a judge or Libra, court insecurities and manipulations with the Queen of Wands reversed and Queen of, um, Queen of Wands reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed, which are coming up here, could be um, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio or Cancer. Um, him remembering some evil women in his life. He avoided, or some people who are still at work, who he avoided at work or in his past at work, or who took him down at work or in the aftermath of destruction at work. Um, soon for the masculine, the whole world upside down or almost complete in the cycle or a whole new world. The high priestess secret or psychic abilities with an opportunity or an invitation or a student of ending pain. Looking at all angles of the gold coin, the Christ consciousness, the energy, and its secrets. Holding the world in his hand, but more interested in the other world. Um, Pisces upright comes up here as big passion for self-love for the masculine and receiving messages in order to end the pain cycle. Guarding his love from the devil and receiving messages from her and source or ignoring a message from a Taurus reversed. And number 27 came up here again, which is the Ace of Wands, that new passion. The Divine Masculine is rising above to dance, coming together to trip up or break patterns, no more having to clean up after parties and drunks, or clearing bugs from the curtains, mostly no more deception of passion. And Cancer Reverse, Libra Upright, and Pisces Reverse came up here. There's a new passion at the new moon or it just could be a lot of arousal of the sexual energy. Pay attention to the red flags. Deception came up for the masculine as well as true love, that this is a romance of a lifetime. And this could be the one, just love yourself first. No more juggling for the masculine, now only two. Around him or how he is seen is the five of pentacles reversed, recovering, destined to wake to new passion and speak the truth of messages without options. Masculine needs to clear blocks of the Four of Orbs or the Four of Swords. As I turn the page, it's 120, which is the Magician and Judgment. And the Magician's coming up here reversed. So that could definitely be that very manipulative energy, whether it's the Queen of Wands next to it reversed, or it could be a Judge or a Hierophant reversed, or that King of Pentacles reversed. So there could be some very shady characters here. Um, with the Four of Swords reversed, uh, the masculine could be needing to clear blocks about thinking too much or not sleeping well, rising above family who put him out only to let him back again to recover, letting go of holding on to things and to make nice, just to make nice with people. Um, the wounded warrior 
um, still with a little fight left if needed, but only for one big love. Nature comes up here for the masculine, but even more so adventure, effort, abundance, and domestic harmony. In healing a third party, strumming her pain with his fingers, the Knight of Cups is upright and coming in. Walking through portal of death and rebirth, taking down the devil, Taurus or Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles in a divorce or break in commitment in order to heal from the fight. Keeping her away from the divine feminine, just make sure you're not his prized possession. Judgment call in an ending or a divorce to find peace in a call to action and or announcements. Finding peace in what his guides are telling him or where they're taking him. He may need to take down two very bad people to get to the divine feminine or one of the bad people is the Taurus feminine or the karmic. Um, Scorpio is coming up upright and reversed, Capricorn upright and Taurus reversed. And that definitely could be that king of pentacles reversed. Or standing in his truth to a queen of pentacles Capricorn, divine feminine, or the Queen of Pentacles, Bossy Taurus, Aquarius, and or Scorpio reversed. Um, could have been a Gemini or Aries energy in the negative charts as well here, but they're not coming up as negative energies. But the Queen of Pentacles for the most part is only the Queen of Pentacles upright today. Um, he's transforming and making a bold move or travel into knowing, floating on air like a wing in a prayer, like hypnotized, maybe regression appointment, with the Queen of Swords before offering love, or moving to accept the Queen of Swords offer of love to follow dreams, maybe meditating to feel the love. Powerless and rejected or a spoiled brat going off again, moving unstable in a divorce or some kind of break with business or religion at work, or moving to be more spiritual at work. Presently, defenseless to the energies, but the King of Swords is standing in his truth, pending a new life, holding back money from family stressed or crying and kids no longer getting their way starting over being patient no longer bored those kids or being patient getting over the past or a childhood grieving emperor or just an emperor feeling loss regret or guilt offering a big love to be on top of the world again divine feminine's heart feels a happy message reaping lovers reward rising above and recovering third party through work or place of co-creation, new passion as challenged by patience to complete the world or be a multi-dimensional person, rising up to surrender through the portal and ascend to a higher consciousness. The divine feminine's heart, third party, or work may not be working or losing money or gossip about what she says or who she is. There may be slander going on. Um, lover's new passion for surrender challenged by patience rising and recovering into another world or the new it's a new world right so it's definitely all about the new world coming up here and just so you know who the court cards were as i move it over a little bit more so you can see some of the stuff down there um all, like I said, all the queens were reversed except for the Queen of Pentacles, but the Queen of Swords may be a different Queen of Swords up there at the end because I was definitely getting upright energy over there. Um, and that can relate to the feminine or can be relating to uh, someone who's a professional who the masculine may be seeing um, for whatever it is, meditation, regression therapy, or along those lines, maybe just online with a twin. Um, the kings were all upright except for that king of pentacles reverse, which is a really shady character coming up with the queen of swords reverse and the underlying energy. Um, and the, the pages were all upright except for the page of cups, which may be that spoiled brat coming up at the end. And then there's um, all of the knights were upright except for the knight of swords, which was also around that spoiled brat energy coming up. So with the kids, the only negative energies seem to be like that one or two people. Um, but the rest of the kids are doing really great actually here today. Kings are doing great, except for the King of Pentacles. It's really about the um, three queens who are um, reversed today. Um, definitely the Empress, very negative energy. And they can all be one person as well, or two people. Like, so the Empress can be the Queen of Wands as well. And then there may be a kid involved as well, because the Page of Swords was coming up reversed with them. But that could just be her mouthing off. 
but there could be anywhere from one to four people in the situation because it could be three negative women plus another child involved. And I want to bring that up too because, which I forgot to tell you, in the feminine read that I did yesterday, let me look back, um, there, the three queens were there in the feminine read yesterday. And they were the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. I don't, I'm trying to remember what they were. I don't think I wrote down whether they were upright or reversed, but the Queen of Wands was definitely coming up reversed in that read. Yeah, uh, actually I do remember. The Queen of Wands was reversed, but the other two queens were upright. The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles in the read yesterday. So even though the Queen of Cups does come up reversed right at the end here, she doesn't. She can be an aspect of the Queen of Wands, or she could be someone who's just reversed because she's very. She's been crying a lot in the aftermath of what happened. So she knows just maybe a, a bystander who's very sad. So the Queen of Cups doesn't have to be a reversed uh, negative person there. She just could be. Um, she just could be very sensitive right now in the aftermath of some destruction that happened. So I just wanted to bring that up because the three queens came up two days in a row. So that's pretty significant. And what was. What were they yesterday? The emperor and the empress were up right yesterday, but like I said, there's two different empresses that come up. It doesn't have to be the same one. She may just not have been in the picture yesterday, This the negative one. And that could be like, you know, that could be a karmic, it could be the karmic's mother, it could be a boss, it could be the mother-in-law. So there's all sorts of people who come up as the empress. All right, so, is there anything else up here I wanted to tell you about the read? Um, the Divine Masculine definitely could come up as the King of Cups, Libra, uh, with Leo or Ego. So those energies coming up there, but that doesn't have to be the Masculine at all. Also can come up as that King of Swords at the end, which definitely was him. And he can come up as the King of Wands as well. Um, but just not, he could be that King of Pentacles reversed, um, who may be a Capricorn, but I was getting more of the Taurus energy, really negative there, but it could be him there as well if he's in his negative energy. But the King of Wands is next to the lovers, so he's definitely happy. He's the one falling for the Divine Feminine. Um, yeah, that would make sense too. So he, I often I get, when the Masculine's been with the Karmic, he comes up as the Wands card. But when he's matched with the feminine, he comes up as the swords card. Um, and then as the king of cups, he comes up often as around the family, like the family man with the kids and the family. So, And that can just be unconditional love as well. So they can all represent the masculine, but they can also all represent other people in the environment right now. So you know your environment, so you can fit them to where they go. Also, don't forget, that when the two suits are the same, they could be siblings. So king and queen of pentacles, or wands could actually be the karmic and her brother, and the masculine could be the king of swords. All right, so you might want to think of it in that way as well. Um, the king of pentacles and the magician reverse could be the same person. The empress reverse and the queen of cups, could, or Scorpio could be the same person. Also, the empress reverse could be the queen of wands reversed, and or the queen of swords reversed. Um, but like I said, the Queen of Cups reverse could have just been a bystander who got taken down in the aftermath of everything. All right. And, oh, since I'm already over an hour anyway, might as well pull you another card, like I did yesterday, just to see what comes up now, since that was this morning. Let's see what we have. I'm gonna go with that Rider weight again. I like this for confirmation. It's my very first deck I ever had many, many, many years ago. So let's see what comes up for the Divine Masculine. Today is June 26, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all this concern. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Everyone take a deep breath. <sighs> Sorry it went so long. I wasn't expecting it to be that long, but it did. But it's okay. It was just 1414, 14, so that's the twins and the magic. Two, twin, two angels and magic. It's magic. What's that song? You know. Mm -hmm. so, it's magic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
this for the masculine. Let's see what comes up. Wow, it's the same card that's in the center of the reed. This is hot, you guys, and don't forget the temperature of the summer and the human body. It's getting hot, and look what came up right next to it. Queen of Cups, upright. Divine Feminine's heart, reaping rewards. Wow, <laughs> and the lover's upright. This is crazy, you guys. That's some really amazing energy. Um, these three just came up together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so whatever the Leo or ego energy is involved with this is not doing so well. They're not um, expressing their feelings or they may be trying to block communications. Um, their world might feel upside down or maybe trying to block the divine feminine. Okay. Or this could even just be any um, strong energies about the divine feminine in another world, um, but just not expressing feelings at the moment. Okay, but wow, those are really positive energies. Um, there may be, here we have next is the, the Empress upright with the nine of pentacles reversed. So this could be a couple different things because it can be the Empress feeling powerless in this situation, although she's upright, she could have lost a lot of money, power, independence. She could have lost a child. It could be a grown child that she lost. It doesn't have to be to death or anything, but it could be because the death card came up. It could have been that she lost them, they moved out or they're in a fight, right? So they're not living with, or it could just be them moving out and they're not living with them anymore. Um, I mean, this could reference me as well, because my son just left, he went back home. But this also can be, like I said, it could be two different people or it could be just the Empress not empowered or not wanting to be single anymore. Okay, but she's up right here. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it could be something, the only, the negative aspect of this combination could be, like I said, that divine, the Empress may have spending issues and may have done this um, to the divine masculine. So it could be a karmic who spent the money or just, you know, spent her own money. Or it could just be not wanting to be single anymore. Like I said, it could have been a miscarriage or there could have been a, a death of a child. And I'm sorry if that really, if that relates to anyone out there, but um, it could just be mother and grown child as well. Um, but then we have the Eight of Swords, which is being released from prison. So someone may have literally been in prison or just out of getting, in the, getting out of that mental prison. And then these three cards are coming up together the three of pentacles, which definitely came up reversed in this read as well. So not getting along at work or leaving work or third party through work. The king of pentacles is coming up up right here as uh, uh, choosing a path and leaving work, actually. So maybe if, this, if the king of pentacles reversed was coming up there as a Capricorn and not the devil, um, he's now upright because he's chosen to leave and choose a new path, the left path, the feminine path. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse, which is someone not working for a change and being still. Can be someone who's stubborn or refusing to work, but with the masculine, that's not usually their energy. So it would be, for him, it would be a good thing, you know, being still for a moment. All right, and so here, this is coming up. There definitely could be a death here for someone, okay? And this could have already happened, but this is definitely uh, rest in peace. They're no longer in pain, so it's probably someone who was in a lot of pain. Who is, uh, but this doesn't have to be a death. It could be just someone who was in a lot of pain is now learning how to resolve it through meditation and rest, connecting in the 5D. Okay. And I'm going to leave it on that because that's where the cards want to stop. The Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment for everyone. This looks like a pretty amazing read yet, guys. The bottom of the deck is just the... Six of Swords being stuck in some emotions that just need to be released, which just means maybe a little purge, which is fine. Oh, there's the Justice card behind it. So, all right, these cards were just behind it. So I'm not seeing any negativity. Looks like there was a fight, but it was over. Hold on. Okay, prior to a new start, all these cards just came out together, okay? So um, there may have been a fight, right, that was exposed. Um, this could be about the options 
It also could be the stuff in a divorce, right? Trying to split up properties and stuff like we were talking about in the read. And here came the, the final judgment came down and people are still stuck in their emotions about it, trying to find peace, okay? But that's a good thing ultimately. That was just the underlying energy. So yay. Okay, guys, drink your water. Make sure you get enough rest. I haven't slept all week. I feel kind of crazy right now. But have an amazing one, guys. Rise and be loved. Bye.